Good afternoon. Um, today I'm going to talk about the two topics we were supposed to watch. Um, the first one I want to go talk about is the magic washing machine. Um, this was, I really like this guy. He, um, he just captures your attention. He starts off by saying how his mom got a washing machine. And they had never seen one before. They Well, they might have seen it, but they've never had one. And so it was really exciting. They even invited the grandma over. And grandma's like, oh, yeah, I want to come. So grandma comes over, and she's like, can I push the button? She's super excited to push this button because all of her life she spent hours and hours a week just wash hand washing the clothes, like by start, starting a fire and then, like, washing the water it's just unhurt I would never want to do that I guess they don't want to but they don't have a choice I'm just very grateful that we can put it in a machine and let it do it for us but I guess you know that's what he's talking about the difference of having stuff and not having stuff he says people with poverty they have like two dollars to spend a day and then people who are well off spend about eighty dollars a day and i don't think i spend you know i've been budgeting myself now that i'm all alone in college and i don't spend about eighty dollars a day because i don't have the money to do that but if i thought about it to my home you think about electric you think all oh, that wonderful business and you do but the people who are poverty and who live in countries like my adopted country Mali, they don't have electricity. So they really are. They don't have anything to spend. They spend exactly what they need to survive. Um, next I want to talk about the Cheryl Wadun, our century's greatest injustice. This really opened my eyes. Um, we were talking about in class how Brother Meeker's favorite people, favorite three people, are women. And one of them being like his mom, his wife, and then his previous girlfriend at a time. Um, anywho, I thought that was really great because one of my favorite people is my mom. Because she does so much. It's just this silent... She doesn't ask for a thank you card or whatever. She's just... She's great. Anywho. So, the one of the first quotes that um, Cheryl Woodun says is, The global project I want to talk about is barely ever talked about. And so I'm like, okay, what are you going to talk about? And she talks about how women are so mistreated there. And... It really did. I did not know women were treated this poorly. I know there was a problem, but not like this. Um, last discussion, we talked about how the parents wouldn't want the women or the girls to go to school because they didn't want to waste their money. They didn't think it was worth it. They're like, well, you can just do our farm anyway. Like, after you would have an education, so why just get your education? Don't waste your money. Um, so then this, I forgot who did it, but they got money to give to scholarships to girls like this, so they, nobody would be wasting their money, um, so they could link little towns like this in China to the rest of China, so everybody would have an equal balance of education, which I thought was really good. Go China. Um, and they took a poll in the audience and they asked everybody who thought the world was more female populated or male populated. And I, like the rest of the audience, was like, oh yeah, female populated. There's a lot of females. Yay. Um, and we all found out that that's wrong. And that there's 60 to 100 million missing females. There's just a gap. They're gone. Because I think of how poor they were treated. Um... There was a, they showed, she told a story about a family and how they showed a picture of this girl and she was skinny, very skinny. You could see each individual bone and you just automatically felt really, really sorry for her. Um, and then they showed, in the same family, the boy. And the boy was fine, which I just thought was really, really sad that 
in the same family, you have such a difference because of their gender. That's, that's sad. Um, they said that families, uh, normally the money goes to the dad, the father of the house, and then he doesn't normally spend it very wisely. In a, in our religion, you know, we don't really have a lot of problem with alcohol and stuff, but even in the U.S., you see it as a problem that they're going into debt because the dad is addicted to alcohol, and this happens in other countries. Um, I also found out in this video discussion that one out of seven women die during childbirth. I was like, oh, um, not very fun to think about. The woman also said, these women here have three strikes against them. One, they're poor. Two, they're rural. And three, they're women. I did not like the last, last comment. It was like, you can't change someone's gender. They didn't choose... Well, I guess they did. I don't know. Um, she told another story that I thought was very... It's not like a good story, but it's intriguing. And it's kind of sad, and it opens up a new light. It's got a happy ending, though. A uh, girl, she was forced to marry this guy at age 13. And then they had a kid, and he kind of abandoned her. And she just had to go have, like, the kid in a bush, I'm pretty sure. And it, it did some pretty harsh damage. And they thought she was cursed. The whole village was like, oh, you're cursed. And so they put her in a hut in the middle of the night to be eaten by hyenas and she fought them off and then she crawled 30 miles to a doctor and then became a nurse so she could help everyone um both of these videos are inspiring that there's people out there and i don't know i'm very happy to learn about the differences because it makes me humble definitely that people are even they go on with their lives and they do the incredible things even though their lives are not fun and they don't have a washer and they wash my hand four hours every week just scrubbing or they go through things that I would never want to go through so those people are amazing and I'm I'm blessed to learn about them see ya